Hello and welcome back to Canarium. Let's start your up again. And now are you ready to talk? Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilmer. Is that so? Is there a problem with that? My name is Frank Gilman, an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. This thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? You are claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. And you are just air. Air? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Where is everybody? They are here. I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the Canarinauts. Canarinaut? Voyagers beyond. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. A secret. strange device fascinated and horrified me in equal measure. It seems that it is able to reply to my questions with logical answers. But how could that be possible? Its eyes were so devoid of meaning that they disturbed me deeply. Above all, after speaking with it, I sense ex explicitly a feeling of forlornness, as if loneliness is starting to give way to such singularities, signifying that I shall continue to be a stranger inside the desolate place, all alone for some time. Hmm. Crank or something? Handle. Okay. Seems like this is more here. Locked. Like most of the places. Huh. Hmm? Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Well, neither do I. Locked. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think the only place left to check is... Oh, I'm going inside. 
that. Shopping. Close soup terrace. Okay, let's start with the left side. It's stuck. Like I need something to get this elevator to work. Link elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and bottom levels below the base. Camp equipment and parts for the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. Tower base cavern entrance. What was the need for such security measures? Hmm. Some of them were not welcome through there. It's dark. Okay. Cool. The blood expedition handbook. Again. is very tight-lipped about how he came up with that strange exploration device he built long ago. The only thing he had told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who liked to chew a certain alkaline herb. The se sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to breaking point. But now I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is cleaning my mind to make it absorb much more than ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. But the most peculiar aspect of the session, uh, sessions are that, because it is a shared experience, I am able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to the other participants. Usually, my mind wanders after the sessions, and I cannot focus on my thought until I have slept for several hours. The strange device surely disorients feelings and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Hmm. I need a phonograph cylinder. Yes. Stuck. And lots of notes scattered around. It's stuck. Temple, flooded caves, base. Professional camp equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem. Submarines also were great. They are fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. We've started exploring some parts of the underwater passages, but it is slow going. Hmm? It won't open. Hmm. It's stuck. Why would I want to open the... Dance door? Okay, it seems like the only thing we can do is... 
mostrar tudo isso nem quando. You're starting to hallucinate. You're definitely starting to hallucinate. I don't think we can go back. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Well, he had a key on him. And a note. We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for our soul to see it again, situated within the circular building we reached with the link elevator. That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris, and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast contemplating that gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just thinking about its age sends shiver down to my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur, now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters? Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in Southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornell Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it is evident that history needs to be rewritten again. Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Hmm. At least oh, that's right. Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I... I'm going to think a bit more.
Garten. We get into the layers of fear. House? No? Locked. Even here. It's locked. Which one is yours? This one? Locked. to find a crumber. I woke up from a series of blaring nightmares, isolated inside these somewhat foreign walls. In one of my pockets I found an empty notebook in which I am writing my notes. I can't remember anything other than there should have been others here with me. The names of Dr. Fox and Dr. David are lingering in my mind now. Additionally, trying to delve deeper into Fox gives me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. I'll better find a crew member and find out what's going on here as soon as possible. First Canarium event and a brief visit to the past. I am at a complete loss for words. Simple remarks are insufficient to express my feelings right now. Was the premonition or a vision? How should I interpret all of this? I don't know exactly. Suddenly, I found myself drifting in the familiar room. A room that was long buried in my graveyard of memories, scraped in epitaphs of things long past. The Versailles, the Versailles, the legendary dream of the oldest myth. I heard about that elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on Saliva Divinorum, also known as the Sage of the Diviners. And Enterogenic plant used mostly in religious or shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could gather any information about it other than its legendary, mystical, psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was the drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening gates to places that lie beyond the conventional human senses. The sole bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its lost ingredients. That's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. I feel like there is a chance for me to produce, if not the original, even then a variant of the legendary mixture, the Versailles, with the new clues I have uncovered during my work here. I guess. Somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures initially reminded us the Turkish army sculptures carved as a funerary art, buried, buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the bas reliefs, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some tasks for the masters, just like the Egyptian Ushabitu Ush. Ushaptu funerary figurines, which are the servants of their owner in the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rock stools as if waiting for a command. There are lots of gateways leading to dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in ages past. Some of them were covered by strange ivy like plants swaying back and forth despite there being no external force to move them. They seem to come from levels below, 
creeping through crevices in the rock walls. To stop probable superstitious gossip amongst the crew, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, personally started to examine them. The first submarine explorations revealed what was laying in the underwater caves. The most striking features were the structures with openings in them, like doors and windows. They made us wonder whether those caverns had been carved underwater or if they had been submerged at a later date and thus had become redundant to those who had carved them. Trof trophy? Oh, great. Pronunciation of the Zs. Which I'll make sure to screw. Okay. We found the lever. Can I take you? Leave you? There is some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways, as amazing as it is deadly. There is a hidden world right beneath the wild place, and even though I ha was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly poisonous gas, seemingly coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of these plants they came across in any of those caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on the map. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air currents, and this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. Hey! Anyone here? Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? Anybody? Where are they, for God's sake? These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Sorry, but you might be waiting there. 